Well, hello from the sunniest day of the year so far. It is Monday 29th of March and a heat wave is about to happen in the UK. This is the first day of it. I'm very excited for it. Like this vlog is off to a very, very good start. Um, so I'm wearing makeup today. I don't usually wear makeup like early on during the week because I'm like, I just want to like laze around. Um, but I actually am about to film a video for this channel. I was about to say for Becky vlogs, but it's not that, it's more Becky now. I need to try and remember that. Um, so I'm filming like my March favorites, just things I've kind of been loving. I don't think I've ever filmed one of these videos. Oh wait, no, I think I filmed one on the main channel like five years ago. Um, and there's just like lots of things I've kind of been like saving product empties and I just want to talk about them. And I feel like it's one of those videos that it's probably best suited for this channel because it's going to be a little bit more chatty. I think it will probably, yeah, it will be live by the time this vlog goes up. So be sure to check it out if you are not bored of me by the by the time you finished watching this entire video. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and take some time to sit outside later. And I think Hannah and I are going to go watch the sunset down, um, down by the coast. Like we'll just go to the closest. I think the closest beach to us is like. 30 minutes away so I think we're gonna do that because it'd be really nice to watch the sunset on like a clear day like honestly this weather is unreal like let, let me show you I mean would you take a look at that sky literally looks like summer so unreal what is that noise oh someone's driving oh look mum's down there reading her magazine living her absolute best life but oh gorgeous gorgeous day so I get told all the time that this is really weird what I do so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to decide. Apples, but I dip them in with a bit of chocolate, or I dip them in chocolate. Is that weird? I don't personally think it is, and I personally enjoy eating apples more this way. Like I know it's not very healthy, but I just um, I just melted a whisper bar, just like one of the small ones. I'm just gonna dip, just do a little little dip of each one. Is that weird? Maybe. Mm, you guys can you guys can be the judges. So we are just en route to the beach now. The sun is definitely setting. We've got about 20 minutes to go. No longer than that. We've got 20 minutes, not longer than 20 minutes. It's at half seven. No, 20 minutes until we get to the beach. And the sunset I think is at half seven. So, you know, very excited for it. The roads are very empty. Bearing in mind this is like the first half day of freedom or half freedom, you know what I mean. Um, but the, beach the roads be are quite. God, I'm going very quick. I reckon the beach will be busy. Yeah, it probably will be. Would you take a look at that? How you? Doesn't it even look like England. Oh like, God, I know. Wow. I know. You don't, you don't look at that view, inside. girl. Look at that view. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it doesn't even look like England. Like, hang on. When we go down to the sand and there's no crap English stones. It's not going to look like the UK, and I'm so excited for this. Do you see what I mean? Like, I probably could tell you this was a beach in Spain, or Miami, and you could possibly believe it. Oh, how good. Stop vaping. Stop how in. good. Yes, I can. I'm putting it in there. Everyone tell Hannah to stop vaping. <laughs> mm, you're naughty, 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 naughty. naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> oh god actually it's, it's getting a bit head. getting a bit wet over here should we go back onto the dry a bit let's take 10 seconds to just listen and relax ledge up there. Guess where we are? Standard bloody procedure. We're not at Starbucks. Yeah, we're not at Starbucks. It's either Starbucks or McDonald's. Um, public service announcement. The cream egg McFlurry is back at McDonald's and I am so excited for it. We were literally like, mm, okay, we'll just see what flavors he's got. And then when he was like, uh, we've got the cream egg, Hannah and I looked at each other. Our eyes lit up. We were like two children at Disneyland amazing i literally cannot wait i actually got one of the big ones because normally i get one of the small ones so i'm trying to be good but i'm not being good today i'm eating that big old cream egg mcflurry and i'm happy about it gosh sorry about the lighting it's, the car ahead is uh really lighting up my face hannah's buzzing look at you cream egg. cream egg baby I love cream eggs. oh the best 
oh that cream egg mcflurry was so delish i'm gonna have a bath now so i'm gonna sign off for today i'm actually going back to the beach again tomorrow because i'm meeting my friend ellie who i don't actually see very often she's very busy she's gonna she's doing her masters or phd or something she's very very clever so i'm very grateful that i have some time to spend with her tomorrow because i know that you know those kind of degrees must be really intense um so that is tomorrow's plan don't think i'm really doing much else to be honest i need to film a video actually yeah i need to do that but yeah i'm going to sign off for today thank you for watching monday and i'll see you tomorrow not me off to the beach again of course i'm off to the beach again the weather today is absolutely bloody spectacular i think it's hang on let me check it's gonna get up to 21 degrees where i live oh my god in london it's getting up to 22 and then what's it what's it saying in brighton okay brighton's a bit colder brighton's 17 but let me just show you because for the first time this year the bitch has got shorts on would you look at that i've actually got shorts on i actually can't believe this like i am a little bit scared i don't know i haven't shaved my legs i'm not gonna lie and i also don't know if i'm gonna get too cold i have bought a jumper so yeah i think i'm just living in hope at this point like if i'm gonna get cold i'm gonna get cold but there's sun there is not one cloud in the sky like i am here for this so i'm about to head to meet ellie i don't know I think I'm meeting her in Hive actually. And we're gonna go get some sushi. So bloody excited. Obviously, I'll take you guys around and along with us for the journey. I'm just so excited. Like, I really should be doing work right now, but you know, the weather, the weather comes before the work on a day like this. So yeah, I have actually got a video to film. I've got Wednesday's video to film, which is like my april styling and those videos literally take me like five hours so i'm probably gonna be doing that until 10 p.m this evening but you know what it'll be worth it girls it will be worth it so um yeah i'll see you at the beach so i'm joined with ellie now i can't actually see if the camera's overexposed i don't think it is but apologies if it is oh my gosh it looks so does good. it so our sushi place wasn't open but we went to somewhere else called what was it cafe tropical <laughs> tropical <laughs> sushi <laughs> Wait, is it Cafe Tropical? Isn't that Shit's Creek? Tropical, that I think, nice, yeah, I think that sounds quite nice. But we've gone and got ourselves a poke bowl. Poke bowl? bowl? I don't know how you say it. Um, so I've gone for a chicken teriyaki. I cannot talk today. Chicken teriyaki. Absolutely delish. The beach is really busy today. Like yesterday at Shoreham, it was so quiet. But obviously everyone just comes to Brighton, which is why Shoreham was so quiet. But we've got ourselves a nice little space here, haven't we? Yeah. It's quite cute. Well, can't really see the seat. No. <laughs> Yeah, can you see that? Maybe a little bit. The tide is like really in today. Like, can you see it literally starts here? So um, there's not a huge amount of beach for everyone, which is probably why it looks as busy as it does. This is our little spot. I think it's quite cute. Very oh. sweet. Oh, cute. So I've just got back home. It was actually a really lovely day by the beach. Sorry about how bright it is. So I have all my clothes, as you can see the mess is here and it's all on the landing because I need to rush, just kind of touch up my makeup and then start filming this video. I literally have about two hours until it gets dark and normally these videos take me longer than two hours so I'm going to have to rush through it. I think I'm going to do okay, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, okay, wish me luck, wish me luck. I probably won't be able to speak on the vlog until I've done it so i'll catch up with you hopefully at about half seven ish so just an update i filmed all the try on clips it's what well, i don't even know what the time is. i think it's eight o'clock like honestly these videos take so long i need to do the talking clips that probably only take me about half an hour um but mum and dad have just bought time dinner which is a thai curry they've actually just gone to shore and beach you know where we were yesterday was it busy no it wasn't busy Dead on 8 o'clock? No, I mean the beach. Not the Thai restaurant. Oh, the beach was busy. Oh, we just got very lucky yesterday. Yeah, yeah, the sea's so far out, isn't it? It literally looks like a beach in Spain or something, or in Miami. Oh, got hair stuck to my lip. Yeah, it was really cool, wasn't it? Beautiful sunset. And here is our Thai. Delicious. Is anyone else really weird like me? But I will just have the chicken and the sauce and none of the veg. I feel like I expose myself way too much in these vlogs because I literally look like a right weirdo. Oh, we are finally done. The April styling video is all filmed. 
oh, now I've got to tidy this all up. Like literally, this is the state my sister's room gets into. She is still not back. She's been drinking in the park, standard. Um, so I really do not want drunk Hannah like screaming at me when she sees the mess. So I'm gonna try and tidy this up as quick as I possibly can. Um, I need to still get these clips uploaded. Like the try on clips have still not loaded and it's about two hours later. I hate my Wi-Fi. it's just, BT, you need to sort yourself out, please. Like, please, honestly, I need it. Um, right, let's have a bit of a tidy up. Should I do a time lapse? I'll do a bit of a time lapse for you guys. I don't normally do this, but I've got my tripod here. So might as well, please enjoy. Baby, I'm not mad at all. We both tried and tasted fall. Can't hold our love against the wall, no. Every inch of me is hurting and I I just wanna leave it all behind. Yeah, I'm breaking up with you tonight. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this stuff was all out of course, so. This isn't my mess. I just want to tell you that before you start judging me. This is all done by my sister. Um, okay, I feel like this is probably the best I can get it to. You know, people always say, leave things how you found them. So this is how I found it. I've also found my shoes. So thank you, Hannah, for stealing those. Now I need to move all of these clothes into my room. So I will be with you in just a sec. Trying to find the best angle in my room is forever going to be a struggle. So I am going to head to bed in just a sec, which is why I've pulled my hair back. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my um, hair routine at night. So my hair, as you can see, is basically, it you know, it flips colours. So like here, I'm a brunette, and then here, I'm a blonde. Um, and the blonde bits, especially because like, you know, I've been out in the sun recently, I'm finding that it's getting a little bit dead feeling, so I'm actually going to take it out. So what I usually do, and a product that I've fallen in love with, is the Olaplex Number no. 7 Bonding Oil. When I first got this, I put a whole rant on Instagram, like, this is really expensive. I hadn't even tried it, but I was like, it's really expensive. But to be fair, like, I barely put any on my hands, like, probably, like, that's probably too much to be honest. So it was like four or five drops. And I literally just kind of like pop it in my hair like this. I do it like this because I don't want to get it like greasy looking. So I kind of like, I don't know, like fluff it in and scrunch it in. And I'm just finding that it's really helping my hair out. And you can put a lot of this in your hair. Like I've put this in my hair just before a hair wash day. Like I've literally pretty much soaked it in oil. And I woke up the next day and my hair like felt dry. Like it didn't look oily. Whereas you know when you put... I don't know, coconut oil, for example, like other hair oils, you wake up and it looks like you've got oil in your hair. It's really cool. I love this product. I think Olaplex stuff is really good. And I honestly think it's the only thing that's kept my hair from like actually falling to pieces and snapping off over the last few months. So I would definitely recommend this. I'll link it down below. Like, like I said, it is on the more pricey side, but it's, it's going to help your hair. So, you know, and I've got, oh, I think I've got two more months or maybe about a month and a half until I get my hair done. I think I'm getting it done on the 12th of May. So, you know, I've got to try and keep it going as much as I can. And I really want to grow it as long as possible. Like, I'm really annoyed at myself that I kept cutting my hair because at the time I was like, yes, this looks really good. Everyone was saying like, yeah, it looks really good. It didn't. In my personal opinion, I don't think it did. So now I've kind of got awkward length hair and I'm just waiting for it to grow as much as possible. But... On that note, before I take my makeup off and absolutely terrify you, I'm gonna end today now. Can't believe today's only Tuesday. Like this week feels like it's been really long already. I think it's just because I've been doing lots of things. Um, but tomorrow, what am I doing tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow I'm going to I'm going to sit in Ella's garden. Isn't that amazing? Because now we can sit in gardens. So I'm gonna annoy her while she's like <laughs> she's literally working. But I just said I'd pop in, like we'd have a little iced coffee or something. So that's the plan. Oh, Hannah's in now from her antics this evening. Brilliant. I'll spare you from that and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is actually Thursday today. I want to get where the good lighting is in the house. Oh, I love it. Um, it's Thursday today because I didn't vlog yesterday. 
I just, I don't know why, I didn't really do much. I basically just sat in Ella's garden playing with Agnes all day. So that probably would have been some, like, cute content. But I just, I didn't vlog, I just couldn't be bothered to pick up the camera. If I'm being completely honest. Not I couldn't be bothered, I just kind of forgot. And then it got too late in the day and I was like, hmm, it's probably a bit weird to just film, like, two hours of the day. So we're starting afresh today. I've got my little pink blazer on because I'm seeing my nanny and grandpa for the first time this year. Which I literally cannot wait for. Um... Mum, I'm just going with mum because Hannah's got loads of uni work to do. She's nearly finishing her second year of uni. So she's got all of that kind of stuff to do. And I've got to read through all her reports when I get back. So that's fun. I'm going to feel like a teacher. Um, but mum has actually just had a very exciting delivery arrive downstairs. I feel like you might recognise this. If you watched my March favourites video, you will see the brand. So it's Johnson & White who are a candle and like fragrance company. And... Um, Right, let's see what we've got. Very exciting, I know. So I got gifted a Johnson & White candle, God, I don't know when it was, about two months ago. And mum and I just fell in love with the brand. So we've actually bought these, I think we've bought quite a few candles. We've got one over there as well on that like little camp top. You see the black thing, that's the candle. Oh, Oh, that's cute. That's really sweet. The packaging is so nice. You, you're right. <laughs> I thought I was gonna drop it. It's like Christmas. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's really Lovely. nice. Which which scent is that? Is that the Dubai one? Mm. Is it nice? Yeah. Let me have a sniff. Oh, that's, God, that smells really expensive. That literally smells like, like Harrods or Selfridges. Oh, that's really nice. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Their candles are almost like a decoration in themselves. They're so nice. And then this one here is one of their diffusers, which we've never had before. It's a massive box. Oh, it's in Bali. Oh, this is my favorite smell. Literally so nice. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, it's China. Oh, and this is how you pour. Oh, there's like a little funnel to pour in the liquid. Oh, you get a lot. Oh, that's really lovely. I will link Johnson & White down below because their stuff really is so nice. It's in the kind of realm of like, I don't know, the set is kind of a similar price point to Jo Malone, the white company, but I think it smells nicer. I really do. I think they smell better and they're like, they last a bit longer as well. I don't know if I vlogged these the other day, but I bought these beautiful candles from candles, flowers. God, I'm in I'm in candle mode now. From um Kensington. It's from Petals at Babendum. And they literally just look so stunning. They're nearly a week old now and they look gorgeous. So if you're in the Kensington area, then definitely get them. Like look at those roses. Are they not just the most beautiful things you've ever seen? How similar do my auntie and my mum look from the back? Like, can you tell? Can you tell the difference? Because I can't. Got myself one of the Costa Frostino drinks. These are basically like the ruby hot chocolate that I've been obsessed with, but like the cold version. And it actually matches my outfit today because we've got my pink bag, my pink blazer. So I'm fully here for this moment and it tastes so good. Like if you guys are looking for a new drink to try, then this is one to go for from Costa. Hello, gorgeous boy. Hi, Gorge. Oh, hi, baby. He's a bit nervous. Can I smell? Oh. oh my god, you're so cute. Look how fluffy. Little babe. Oh, and he's off. About to check my blood pressure. <laughs> Tell me you're at your grandparents without telling me you're at your grandparents. They've got a blood pressure machine. Do you remember when we all did it? And the next time he came, he said, Can we play blood pressure? Can we play blood pressure? What do you mean? Yeah, maybe I wasn't there. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Can we play blood pressures again? That is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mum's was slightly over. She was well, a bit of a stress head. That up last oh thing. yeah, should I put it down? Oh, I hate this feeling. I'm 30. Well, she's old. 79. No, yeah. that's a well, yeah, that's a that's pulse. A pulse yes, yeah. But I'm younger. Well, yeah. that, I was only 83, so that's a bit worrying then. Yeah. Why? It's good to have a good high pulse, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it probably is. It's got isn't a good... It? If, if anyone knows, let us know. It's pumping high. 130 over 70. Yeah. 
And then the average you want is 120 over 80. Well, that's what so it kind of averages be. out. Oh. All that stress we caused you yeah, as children, be. must be that. It's the lockdown stress. Lockdown it? stress, yeah. yeah Sitting at home every that. day. Come on a little beach walk. The sea's actually very blue, considering the sky is a bit of a yeah, hazy. It's, it's a very wow. weird colour. It's sad, we've only actually had one day of full sun. Yeah, it's very sparkly. It's lovely. I am very jealous you live by the coast. Yeah, we love it. Yeah. Oh. Must be so nice. Good morning, happy Friday. It is Easter Friday, so it's called Good Friday. Uh, today I'm doing a little shoot day, hence why I actually look a bit more put together. Although, please don't judge because I've not done my mascara or my lipstick yet because I wanted to like get out of my house um, and then I can just do it when I get there. So I think we're gonna go to like Sloan area today, which is gonna be exciting. I've not been there in a very, very long time. And because it's a bank holiday, it's free parking. So I am buzzing. Um, when I say Sloan area, sorry, I mean I mean London. I don't know why I say that as if like you're gonna know where that is. Oh, it's 11.11. Every single day this week, I have literally spotted 11.11 on my phone. Right, let's make a wish. Okay, got it. Um, okay, sorry if you think I'm weird at this point. I feel like maybe you will, but I'll see you in London. I'll try and vlog a bit of today. Uh, Tommy's actually coming to take my pictures with me. I've not done a shoot day with Tommy for the best part of like, two years it's been so so long so i'm gonna meet him up there and bless him he's driving all the way up so cute but yeah i will catch you guys later it's the boy it's been a long time <laughs> hasn't been a long time i did only see you last week so we're here in sloan you've actually got like harrods and all of that behind this building no that's wrong actually it's kind of near it's really empty though i didn't actually think it was gonna be more busy because the drive is really really busy but yeah, it's very, very quiet. Love it. So we are back from London. I didn't really film anything because this Instagram boyfriend over here does not enjoy taking pictures. Sorry about the wind. Hang on. Um, looking a little bit more windswept now. Sorry about the audio in that. I was going to say we've come back from London and we've now head to the beach because we were going to go to the beach yesterday, but it wasn't as sunny as it is today. And we thought, actually, I think the sunset today is going to be beautiful. It is. Oh, half an hour. It's, 6.56, so we basically, I think it's about 40 minutes or so till the sunset is in like the full shebang moment. But I'm very excited. We also had a really nice day shooting in London. If you guys wanna see what we got up to, cause I didn't really post it on stories. I did film a reel and a TikTok. I think you've got, I think I've got links down below to my TikTok and my IG. I'm pretty sure I do. So if you wanna check out what we did, then you can do that. But yeah, are you ready for some sunset snaps? I feel like I started the week with a sunset. And I'm ending it with a sunset. This is very, this is a full circle moment and I'm here for it. We also got Subway. Let me show you. I've not had a Subway for so long, but they do really nice Chipotle. It's the only place in the UK I've found where I can get a Chipotle. Oh my God, my bag's falling over. Anyway, I'm saying it's the only place in the UK where I can get a Chipotle sandwich. Oh no, I've got two pound on the floor now. I'm rich guys, I'm rich. I tell you what, it's a lot colder today than it was yesterday. The sun is slowly going down. We're thinking we might actually have to head back to the car because it really is cold and Tommy is only wearing a jacket. A jacket, which wasn't there, which probably wasn't the best choice. But there you go. We'll try and watch the rest of the car, but I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna look that nice. Back home from the beach now, that was honestly so cold. Like I'm really glad we went at the beginning of the week because even though it was chilly, it wasn't too bad. So I've got myself a little Friday, a little Friday tipple, a little Friday drink, which is passion fruit vodka, absolute passion fruit. And it's raspberry lemonade. And let me tell you, this combo is elite. Like I've never had it before, but Huns. God, you need to get onto it because it's so good. If you like a sweet drink, then this is definitely the one to go for. It's almost like a cocktail. It's kind of giving me like almost gin, pink gin and lemonade vibes, even though it's vodka. It's really, really good. You need to get on it. And on that note, I'm going to say cheers to you guys. Uh, I don't, this is going live on Sunday. Okay, so if, if you're watching this on Sunday, then happy Easter. If you're watching this in five years time, then sorry. So you're probably just like, what, what the hell is this girl going on about? But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.